So I'll admit to you, when I first saw this, I dismissed it as a boatload of bull run BS. I've seen AI written articles pump this market. I've seen major crypto news outlets publish false press releases about Bitcoin ETFs months before the ETF actually happened, which also pumped the market. And we are only months removed from the Hedera, BlackRock and Archex situation. Who tokenized it? Who didn't? Where? Why? What? All of that was unnecessary. That was my initial reaction to this story here, published by Crypto News Flash. That is why Monday morning, you guys seen in the community tab, I said, no, Hedera is not going to be a part of a SpaceX launch in January. Now, yesterday was a busy day for me. A lot of errands, ran family business. I come back to that post a few hours later, though, and one of you let me know. One of the members of the committee, she says, uh, you might want to check out Wise Key CEO's Twitter because he pretty much confirmed it. And and that's what I did here, right? And I was like, oh, huh. Okay, so this is the this is what I've been waiting for. I, I, I don't go off of, and excuse the rant a little bit, because I'm disappointed in Crypto News Flash. I've been reading them for a number of years, man. Y'all gotta, t- y'all gotta check into this. But I don't get my resources from Sean's, all right? I need to see it coming from the guy himself. And once I saw that, you guys seen it in the community tab. I came straight back to you and said, I was mistaken. We got something here. And ladies and gentlemen, yes, we do. Now, we got to go back over to this uh, insane article. We got to entertain it for a second. But before we do, let me introduce myself because we got a lot to talk about in this episode. My name is Wade Teamer. You're listening to another edition of the DHN Crypto Podcast. I've been in the space since 2019. I've researched over a thousand digital assets. And the number one reason I run this show is to share all that knowledge with the people. Because as you can see, the flow of information in the crypto space, <laughs> it, it, it can use some uh, some help. All right. We talk a lot about instant payments, decentralized transactions, all of this good stuff. But it can be used here. All right. And and those who have been in the space for a few years know exactly what I'm talking about. But let's entertain this for a second here. <laughs> so according to Sean, SpaceX is sending a satellite powered by HBAR to space this January after NASA research paper on Hedera. So a couple things here. One, the only correct thing about this statement is January. This launch in collaboration with SpaceX and another company very well known in the hash graph ecosystem, they are launching a shuttle in January. The NASA research paper is referring to is almost three years old. However, y'all know I went and found it and they published something in January of this year. And that's what made me pull this whole episode together. All right. So powered by H bar is a stretch. It's a bull run. I get it. I've seen it before. I don't want you to get confused by it, though. If You stumbled upon this show and this channel. I'm going to keep it a thousand and five with you at all times. OK. And I, it's crazy to still see that people will stretch the limits of reality here. But according to Sean, SpaceX Starlink has issues with making uncensored, fast and secure Internet connectivity worldwide. I've never seen a headline about that, but okay, This has been a challenge since its Internet access depends on the server infrastructure of Earth. In this case, a targeted attack on the data centers or global nuclear fallout could render this infrastructure useless. Fascinatingly, the use of Hashgraph technology alongside Starlink, according to Sean, could put these disruptions under control. All right, so YouTube has this thing about not cursing before a certain uh, 30 seconds in the video. We passed 30 seconds. That's bullshit. All right, <laughs> that is total, absolute malarkey. That you, What you're implying is an attack on the data centers, which is essentially World War III. And if we're at that point, dude, ain't nobody thinking about none of these cryptos, okay? <laughs> ain't nobody thinking about that. But the rest of this article, though, touches on things that are actually not that far off. Like I said, guys, time in the space gives you the opportunity to see a number of things. And the subject that he's referring to ain't that far off. 
It really ain't. Now, I want to scroll down to where they bring in the CEO of a company called Wise Key, Carlos Creos Moriera. If I butchered that, please forgive me, sir. We'll refer to you as Carlos for the rest of this episode. But in, when he announced it on X, they highlight here, world first, testing the exchange of seal coin directly from space as a proof of concept. This is a major leap forward in secure satellite communication and blockchain integration with Hedera Hashgraph, paving the way for the future of space-based digital currency crypto transactions. So again, going back to the BlackRock RTX Hedera situation, somebody took these words and in their head said, oh my God, SpaceX is using HBAR to power their satellite. When in reality, the core piece to this story is seal coin. All right, now let's break it down here. So we're gonna go over here to X and you can see the original post from Carlos himself, wise sat.space makes headlines on Swiss radio television. We are thrilled to share that our upcoming wise best uh, wise sat dot space satellite launch in January with SpaceX has been featured by Radio Tele Suisse, Suisse Radio Television. Provides us with a link to an article. I went over to that article, translated it from Swiss to English, <laughs> and let me tell you, this takes this story to a completely different stratosphere. And, and no pun intended, I promise you. But so, what we're talking about here is. The Swiss Army. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Let's 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 read into this story a bit. So Switzerland could soon have its own satellite constellation. The army is currently working with a private company in Geneva to eventually launch around a hundred devices in the coming years. A spacecraft is due to take off in January aboard a space S ro SpaceX rocket to conduct its first test. So. Let me go back to it. SpaceX and Hedera to pioneer satellite payment networks is false. What this should have said is SpaceX and WiseKey to pioneer satellite payment networks. However, you may just want to have Hedera there. You need Hedera there for the headline to pump the market, to pump the bags. I understand that philosophy. But if you just went one more step further, crypto news flash, you could have easily have explained to people that the seal coin that WiseKey will be using on this rocket flight, that runs on the Hedera network. And that is where this thing opens up entirely because now we have to break down the relationship with WiseKey and the Hashgraph Association and how much has been going on. Now, we're going to finish this story out here because there's some more compelling information. They give us a timeline and additional plans here. So the Swiss Army, they talk about how other armies are getting involved with this. The company that they're working for, uh, working with, WiseKey in Geneva, private company, around 150 employees active in the field of cybersecurity for 25 years. Three years ago, it started developing satellites. It has already put 17 spacecraft into WiseKey has already put 17 spacecraft into orbit, which are used in the private sector to track objects. Okay, here's where it begins to unfold, guys. Scroll down here. The launch of this device is scheduled for January 16th aboard a SpaceX rocket, which will take off from California. The entrepreneur specifies why he also plans to install an antenna, possibly at EPFL, to capture data from the satellite on the ground. The military will be able to access it via smartphones, also developed by the Geneva company. So, um, yeah, the headline of SpaceX and HBAR may sound sexy, but the core of the story actually involves WiseKey and SpaceX. But WiseKey is using Hedera's DLT for this operation. I want you to understand that, guys, because having that understanding still opens the door for a potential where SpaceX and Hedera, Elon and Lehman get real cool because the CEO of WiseKey sure is cool with Elon. So <laughs> let's go back again 
And shout out to the H Bar Bull. Shout out to Brandon. Listen, if you're holding H Bar and you're not subscribed to the H Bar Bull, you will be left out. This interview, I was uh, one of the colleagues of the committee sent this to me, and it really pulled it all together here. Certificate. Talking now to the next generation blockchain nodes that could go into the space. Imagine rather of running nodes, which requires a lot of cybersecurity on Earth. Imagine that you uh, just put the, uh, the node on the space by launching next to the satellite uh, communication process and then revert the uh, verification down from Earth to a space. That would reduce the cost of uh, maintaining data centers, maintaining nodes. So imagine blockchain on the space is a very big endeavor that could inspire people by launching this project in, uh, in November. Well, that's one of the reasons why we're geographically, uh, you know, decentralized. We have on every continent, you know, in the world, except for Antarctica, we have a Hedera node, but we don't have one in space yet. So it's, it's great exactly. that you're thinking along those lines. Um, I Perfect. know that you have a relationship with Elon. Do you think there's any way we could get him involved? Because I know he's interested in this kind of stuff as well. He, he's a, I mean, he's a technology uh, fanatic. So if he, if he realized and he will realize that we are pushing the envelope, then we are bringing something that he doesn't have yet because he, he obviously is a very big blockchain ambassador and he loves crypto, but he didn't put it yet together himself. So if he sees Haas coming with a serious project, I'm sure he will get all his support. I already met him, as you know, uh, in a political environment that, that will be in a technical environment and, uh, and we are launching uh, his own rocket, you know. So, yeah, for sure, we will continue getting his support. Um, but, but what is more important here is this decentralization effort. There's a lot of people that they are willing to put time, money, because this is the future of the earth. It's not to create mega cities and, and, and go into a, a, a centralization mode again, as we were in the past. This is about decentralization, about inclusion, about sustainability, and use the space as the next uh, frontier. And yes, let's put blockchain on the space. That's what this project is going to be all about. Well, I'd love... So that is their game plan, to, in essence, put blockchain in space. Now, as far-fetched as that sounds... It's actually um, something that ain't, you know, it's been talked about for a minute. And I got this, uh, this book here, Ashley Vance's story on Elon Musk, right? I'm reading on it, reading through it. This is about the second time. And a quote stands out to me. Elon talks, so he talked about how, because mind you, it was published in 2015, 2016. He talks about how smart people spend too much time investing into financial tools and things like that when they could be broadening their horizons upward. So when it comes to the question of could Elon turn around and do this at some point in the future, I have absolutely zero doubt about it. When it comes to this conversation being talked about in general, well, let's go back a few years. J.P. Morgan. All right. I originally thought this had chain link involved, but I guess I was mistaken. Come across a lot of information. But as you can see here, Onyx by J.P. Morgan launches blockchain in space. This story really gives us an idea of what the ultimate game plan is here, because in this press release, they go on to describe how the first test centered on building a network to execute a basic transaction from Earth to a satellite. For this, the blockchain launch team worked with satellite company GOM Space to deploy a consensus quorum blockchain onto GOM Space's low Earth orbit satellite. Crucially, this required utilizing a special installation of consensus quorum that was small enough to operate on low memory devices. First tested on the ground on a Raspberry Pi. So, this just popped up in my head, just injecting this here. They mentioned low, what was that called? Uh, low memory devices. So there's a market where the blockchains that are easier to store will find a place here. But let's continue. After executing a successful token transfer on the newly established satellite to Earth Consensus Quorum Network, the next stage focused on executing a more complex transaction type, deploying an ERC-20 contract, a well-known Ethereum standard to represent tokenized value on the same network. 
With satellites in constant orbit, the team then tested how the network would maintain the state of its ledger as the satellite moved and the connection with the ground station was interrupted. Finally, and most importantly, they successfully executed a transaction between two low Earth orbit satellites which validated the approach towards a decentralized network where communication with Earth is not necessary. This breakthrough opens the door to a potential peer-to-peer -peer delivery data versus payment satellite marketplace in the long term as private companies prepare to launch their own constellations. So why would private companies be preparing to launch their own constellations? Well, this is something I discovered in the process of putting this episode together. Apparently, the International Space Station is set to be decommissioned in five years. A little bit over five years. And this is opening the door for private space companies to get involved, such as SpaceX, Blue Origin, what was another one, Virgin Galactic, and hey, just to toss it in here, our friend Jed McCaleb, CTO of Stellar Development, has his own independent space company that is launching with SpaceX next year. NASA tapping SpaceX to help destroy the ISS. So clearly SpaceX is in a position when it comes to this conversation to definitely be the needle mover, to be the needle mover. And if they want to run it through Hedera, they'd be smart to do so. So you see, that was back in 2021, JP Morgan, of all people, kicked off this conversation. But to the point about the NASA research paper, <laughs> oh, this was a treat to read. So. Hedera Hashgraph-based distributed ledger for aerospace applications, also known as Hashwise. That's a great name. That's a cold name, man. I ain't even gonna lie to you. So the company involved with this, NASA, Hedera, uh, the Hedera Network, and CTEN Global Strategies. This would have added so much more time to this episode. I didn't dive into them, but I will. If you guys know something about them, let us know down in the comments. But the Core of this product centers around this highlighted portion here. A clear problem exists with teams of engineers are work when teams of engineers are working to develop components of a complex system, from engine mounts to an entire electrical grid for a satellite, or they are managing a collage of resources that must function as highly as a highly efficient ecosystem. They must be able to know with 100% certainty what's the correct version of a set of engineered drawings or what the current functional capacity of distributed resources might be at any given time. They need one source of truth. What is that, ladies and gentlemen? It's the DLT. It's the blockchain. And the one that they have chosen is the publicly distributed Hedera Hashgraph network they say that it solves all the challenges and inefficiencies of the blockchain commonly associated with bitcoin and ethereum unlike blockchain hedera hashgraph provides for transaction speeds up to 500,000 per second with over 900,000 a day in beta <laughs> the highest known level of security asynchronous byzantine fault tolerance now i'm about to show you why brandon and uh, why this man is so top level do you see the letters on his shirt he top level, ladies and gentlemen. But yes, it goes into describing the technical advantages, the global, the governing council, things like that. What this is, is a product, is a project description for the Hashwise. And I want to show you the start date here. August of 2020, August 31st, ended September of 2021. Remember, JP Morgan started this whole thing back in 2021 so i find that to be interesting now alongside this they had some additional documentation and you know i had to fish through that take a look at this hedera hash graph based distributed ledger for aerospace applications oh we i'm gonna find a way to share this one if i some of these i can some i can't they do have locks on them but hey this is the age of the screenshot y'all see it um where did i want to show you yes we 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 gonna jump right here all of this other stuff is very juicy as well the goals that they met the future developments what they look to do next partners and stuff but i like this here planned possible mission commercialization cten 
Global plans to present this as an enterprise-level solution to organizations that are managing complex model-based system engineering projects to include private companies in the space industry, such as SpaceX and Virgin Galactic. There is an additional opportunity for the solution to be utilized in other industries, such as auto manufacturing. This one, I believe so, yes, nope. That was the one associated with this document here. Couldn't find a date on these two, but this one here was published in January, okay? And it just basically summarizes the product and where it can be used. And they mentioned Hedera DLT, transaction speeds up to 500,000, highest known, ABFT, faller, uh, top fault tolerance, governing council, including Boeing, Google, and IBM. The list goes on. What this will deliver, file service DAP, CTEM will create a quick solution to NASA's model-based system engineering, challenging utilizing the existing Hedera network and decentralized applications for file services through our vendors. And they mention that they want to promote this as an enterprise solution to attract more vendors such as SpaceX and Virgin Galactic, Vast, Blue Origin, they're starting to pop up. These independent space companies, man, these billionaires are something else. But to be honest with you, if I had a billion dollars, that'd be the number one thing I'm doing too. <laughs> I'm just, hey, 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 what? You told me all my life, sci-fi, that we was going to be able to do it. If I got a billion dollars or, or billions of dollars, yeah, I'm going to the freaking moon. <laughs> all right, I'm going to the freaking moon, guys. But before we get out of here, we got we to gotta wrap we got to we, we got to balance the story out here because the company they mentioned is wise sat the satellite service. And like I said, it's the Hashgraph Association that has been previously associated with wise key. And I'm going to break that down to you right now. You can see here wise sat dot space subsidiary of wise key focusing on providing cost effective and secure IOT connectivity using low powered sensors and Pico satellites. So they're a subsidiary of Wise Key. Now, remember, it was the, we go back to the X post from Carlos, all right? I'm sourcing from Carlos here. Next generation satellite will achieve the world's first, testing the exchange of seal coin directly from space as a proof of concept. So it's the seal coin we need to pay our, uh, keep our eyes on, right? Back in August, secured $50 million investment from Jim Digital Limited on alongside the Hashgraph Group, a leader in design and deployment of the DLT Hedera, has signed an agreement with WiseKey to provide initial investment into Sealcoin AG, engineering and technical expertise and strategic guidance in the Web3 economy. I have it highlighted here. This summarizes what Sealcoin will be on Hedera. This is the asset that will be a part of the SpaceX launch in January used in the proof of concept. The seal coin project aims to revolutionize the internet of things using Hedera's decentralized ledger technology by enabling autonomous transactions and service exchanges among IOT devices through its utility token seal coin. Going back to the JP Morgan experiment where they showed us that you can have transactions and an environment where you don't need to have an earthbound connection to do a transactions between two nodes on a shared blockchain network. Now, the platform addresses the growing need for efficient and trustworthy transactions in the IoT sector, particularly in transactional IoT. By leveraging Hedera's DLT ledger, uh, heart, uh, smart contract service, excuse me, token service and consensus service, this creates a deep end that allows IoT devices to autonomous autonomously negotiate, execute, and settle transactions without human intervention or intermediaries. So the whole game plan from day one was an IOT move. It was an IOT thing. And for the sake of time, guys, I'm just going to share this with you here. This goes back to September. Earlier this year, WiseKey established SealCon AG. This is coming from WiseKey themselves, a special purpose vehicle to house and advance the SealCon decentralized technology project. Following the successful launch of the PLC, the company is now focused on a minimum viable product by Q4 of this year. Something is coming. The platform will serve as a comprehensive solution for secure autonomous device interactions within the IoT ecosystem. 
So again, it's pointing to the machine to machine communication here, transactions, IOT, something we touched on before. When people said DPIN a few months ago, they were only scratching the surface. Listen, I'm gonna show you this here. I'm gonna play it in the background while I commentate because this is what I think is going to be used on that show in real time. And you can see it is running on Hedera. So to the point of the original story, Hedera is involved in a pioneering project, yes, but it is not powering the project. SpaceX is doing their own thing. WiseKey is doing their own thing. And it looks like they're getting support by the Swiss government. Hedera is the open source technology in the toolkit that WiseKey has to provide the products that they want to give to their customers. I emphasize that makeup because that is how you will see all of these developments in crypto. That is how this thing works. People want so bad for it to be Google and Hedera changing the world. <laughs> People want so bad for Trump to come out and publicly state, I got XRP and I want y'all to buy some too. It would be a great world to live in. But that ain't the reality. And if we get too caught up in the fantasy of this, in the, in the too caught up in the promises of this world, we will overlook the key information. Because I'm going to tell you this. The seal coin is supposed to be launching as well. So get ready for that. Because you, then you can think of it as, yes, seal coin is expected to launch in Q4 of 2024 and will be listed on a digital asset exchange. You can guarantee that one of the first DEXs that will launch on will be a Hedera DEX. And if people understand the power behind seal coin, that's going to drive liquidity straight to Hedera. The extra liquidity, traders see that. What do they do? Long position because they think money's going to be there for a minute. Now, because we are at the limit on time, I just want to share this article with you here, ladies and gentlemen, from Carlos on LinkedIn. Building the future, a decentralized physical infrastructure network with seals, Q, seal coin and Hedera blockchain. Ladies and gentlemen, this article is the truth written in June of this year tells the entire story of this situation of the makeup and I'm just gonna jump right down to the bottom and give people what they want Hedera the trust layer to ensure the integrity and transparency of these machine to machine transactions we leverage the Hedera blockchain known for its high throughput low latency robust security Hedera Hashgraph provides an ideal platform for recording and validating tractions, transactions within our DPIN. Smart contracts on the Hedera network automate and enforce agreements, ensuring that transactions occur seamlessly and securely. The Hedera consensus service guarantees immutability of these transactions, providing a tamper-proof record that stakeholders can trust. There is that zero point of trust that we saw at the beginning. So when it comes to the truth, ladies and gentlemen, about where this leads. Even though Hedera isn't powering the spacecraft itself, Hedera has positioned itself with the right people doing the right things. And I'll just leave you with that. <laughs> Guys, be careful out here. Okay? That's why you need to pick up your DHN Crypto Starter Kit. Link to that will be in the description. With that, y'all know what time it is. If that money is digital, so is the hustle.